action. Well, here's my mowers I got for free. Well, here's the Murray. A few minutes ago, I uh, checked the gas in it. It had gas in it, and it's fresh. So that means, well, I noticed the problem with the. For some reason, the stern got kind of pounded there. It's kind of dented in just a hair. And uh, so it's causing the starter rope not to wind back in. So that's going to be a semi automatic easy fix right there. I need to get the need to get a kill bar for it because it's not there. And of course there's the cable. There's a little wire, steel wire holding it up. And uh, I look at the date, since I can't tell on the Tecumseh. I don't know why I forget how you can tell when it was made on the Tecumseh. All I all I know I can I can tell on the date on the bridge and stratton is by the code. Well, it's let's see date must be manufacturing date. Let's see nine six three two four. So that tells me. It was made on March 24th, 1996. Yeah, too bad I don't have a Briggs on it, but I got a spare Briggs and Stratton, which you'll see here in a little bit. Now, here's the Lawn Chief. It's The deck is, is going to have to go. That's old Linux there in the background. Now, well, right there in the dark. That's the heat pump. I call it Linux because that's the that's the name of it. Yeah, the engine's gonna need some work. New kill cable and possibly a new throttle cable and a few things. I don't know how much things, but maybe a few. But it was. But anyways, this mower was made in 1988. Saw the code. 20 inch cut, and the Murray over here. I forgot to mention it's a 21 inch cut. What the. I heard a hissing sound. That scared me. Whew. And here's the Murray. The other one I mentioned. It's like light gray to white color. Kind of looks white from the light. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I saw the code. It was made in 1997. So yeah, it's got the 22 inch cut. So that's pretty good. That means more grass will get cut in one run. And here's the Mastercraft. I saw the code and it was made in 1986. Well, I don't know if the engine looks, it don't appear to be original. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. Why? Because it might, the engine got more corroded than the deck. The deck is in good shape. It's just, this thing just needs a tune-up. Possibly a new kill, kill cable, too. That drives me crazy. With all the kill cables. You have to... And, of course, the head of the engine is facing towards me. And the exhaust is pointing toward the right. Kind of like the older mowers have. Like the lawn chief here. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe these are swap motors. I don't know. Maybe the deck is newer than the in the motor maybe they swapped it I don't know but if it really is original that's pretty cool yeah the kill cable for the Murray too the the white Murray you know the kill cable for that a lot of these mowers I collected needs a lot of things including kill cables gosh I have to find out how much it costs there's my weed eater I couldn't believe it. I left it out in the freaking weather that ticks me off I could have swore I put everything away, but I couldn't believe I left that stupid thing outside. That ticks me off. Still fires up though, but it still ticks me off that I forgot. Well, here it is, folks. Facing up. The 1993 Briggs & Stratton Classic motor. Oh, come on. Yep, there's the logo. Classic. Pretty good shape. A little bit of rust, but it's not like severe rust. Rust is not bad enough to like make rust holes or anything, but yep. I wonder if that's true. After the 93, that's the year. 
the 07 is the month and the 30 is the day. And the other last digits is 52. So I have a gut feeling it was me on July 30th, 1993. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm just thinking that's when it was made. Day in the month, not just a year. And here's this. Don't look so good, but I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get it running or not. I might just use it for parts, but it's the 1985 Briggs and Stratton. Of course, it has the old school self propelled, and you know, with the chain. I think it's on one of them old Lawn Chiefs or Murray's. Well, this came off of a Lawn Chief that just rotted away. I mean, rotted away. I mean, the base of the deck was still bolted on, but the rest of it, it was just toast. It was gone. It, it was toast. Gone. Wasted. Well, yeah, some oil's oozing out of there, possibly out of the crankcase ventilation tube. Maybe it got a bad, got a bad little rubber mount there, or might be off, off the wrong angle. Oh, jeez. That scared me, too. There. There, compressor's off. Yep, I think that's pretty much it for now. Yeah, I pulled the kill cable and the throttle cable off this, even the muffler. The muffler was even rotted, too. It had holes, but I still got it off, which that's the good part. But this brings a Stratton Classic. I'm definitely going for this. Get it all tuned up and stuff. Pull the starter off, lubricate the starter, you know, the bearings. I always use tranny fluid. Never use grease. Oh, old Lennox is defrosting just in case you hear it in the background. But yep, I think that's pretty much it. Other than that, the oldest garbage pick item for a lawnmower is the 1985 Briggs. The newest one is the 97. But I definitely love this 93 Briggs right here. Whew. Oh boy, long live Briggs. Especially the classic. So, there you go. It's pretty much all of my mowers. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you that I I got me a coast to coast deck. Well, it was pretty much toast. I mean, it wasn't in bad, sh too bad of shape, but it had many a lot of rotten spots, a lot of severe rust damage. But I just thought I'd just junk it. And, uh, Oh, what the freak is that sound? Uh, let me just air hissing out of the tank. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the Coast to Coast deck. And, uh, of course, I got a green deck. Pretty good shape, so it's stored. So, I might, I don't know, I might put it together, restore it, you know. Just put a, maybe one of these motors on it and just fire it up. Too bad I couldn't get this bolt out, but so I'm down to pretty much two mounting bolt holes. Have to have to find out from Grandpa or or from one of the guys down at Jerry's Reynolds the trick. They pull one of them bolts out without the head. Well, really the only one option I can think of. Remember that that drill bit that helps strip screws or strip bolts or or bolts that broke its head off and, and it it drills threads and then it pulls it right out remember that the that drill bit you see on the commercial well I wish I had one of those and I can give it a try and it should pry it right out I don't know if that works good or not but Oh well, at least two is better than one or nothing. One, it can get kind of scary because the motor can wiggle sideways, the blade can catch on the deck, and then, whew, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, I definitely got to clean this motor up. Can't believe it struck gold on, mostly on this motor. 
and possibly that red Murray because all it needs is a starter and it should fire right up but you never know it's a Tecumseh so it might it might not but we'll see so there you go all my mowers and y'all have a good day and bye bye